Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to implement a router based on a hash change event and nothing but web standards. So what I would like to do is what I have it uh, is here is an empty JavaScript uh, file and an index.html file. And what I would like to do is to implement a uh, two links. Let's say the first link was the hash login, login and the other with with the um, a href with uh, logout logout <clears throat> and if I would like to click on I can click on login and logout and then what should happen I would like to replace a uh, let's say a section with the ID slot so this should be replaced if I click login log out with the current content and uh, so and this is yeah looks good so let's try to implement that so what I would like to do is to implement a class called index view and with a constructor and here I would like to register at event listener hash change hash change and um, what I would like to do is to invoke uh, a method uh, on route on route and this method is in current class so I would like to use this on route change make it nicer on route change and uh, I get event and just for test purposes I would like to print out the event and uh, let's try this so I would like to use the hash login and what we should see is hash change nothing because we have to instantiate the class so should look better so and now we get the hash change event so um within the event there is somewhere the route encoded so we have the new url but um, even easier what we can do we can ask the window for the current window location hash and what we get back is the const hash location and let's try with that so login now we see login and what would be nicer it would be nicer to have this without the hash so let's do substring one do it again and now there is no more hash so the hash was removed with substring because the hash is the first character and substring one removes the first character so what I would like to do is to load the content um, and this should go with the URI so what I can do hash location and then say this load content with the URI so let's do this and of course we need to close the method so load content and what I will need to do is to have the ur uh, content URI which comprises the actual URI and of course HTML so we have that and then I can use the um, ordinary fetch content URI so I'm fetching the content and then I'm converting the response to text and then we have the content and with the content I would like to replace or how to call it update slot this update slot with the content 
So, so what we only need is the method update slot. And it gets the content. And we do not have the slot yet. So let's fetch the slot. This is document query selector. And with the ID slot, and this is my debugger. Document query selector with the slot. Okay. And now we can say this slot in HTML equals content. So usually this is a little bit dangerous because we can fetch whatever we like. In our case, we just fetch, fetch from the current uh, directory, login HTML and uh, log out HTML and just create some beautiful login page, H2 locked in, oh, locked in, in, and then in log out, H2, buy. So we have both. We have now the uh, the update slot method, which is invoke. And um, what happens now, the slot gets a new content. So um, what we could do, we could try with login, logged in. We could try with log out, log out. And of course we can try with the links and it seems to work. And what we can see is that the content is replaced. So the hash change event uh, is supported by our browsers. And this is just a prototype of a router. Um, so you can extend from that, create a pre and post uh, uh, route conditions and enjoy web standards. Thank you for watching and see you at airhex.io or airhex.com.